Hey guys, William Justice here. If you're looking to learn about editing with DaVinci Resolve, making fusion effects, and having just a bit of fun, you've found the right place. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to modify my grid plugin to create some really amazing glowing transition reveal effects. With just a few small changes to my grid transition, I'm gonna be able to create some effects that look like this. You can download the Just Grid Transition from my website, builtjustice.com, and there's also a link in the description. If you're enjoying my videos and wanna learn more about making effects like this, make sure that you like and subscribe. I'd love to hear what you think about this effect, if you think it's something you could use. Also, if you have any other ideas for effects you'd like me to try to create, leave them in the comments below. In my last video, I used this effect, and UNK1999 asked if I would consider doing a tutorial on it. Well, it's a great question, and the answer is yes, and that's what we're doing today. Basing this off the grid transition, it's really easy to create this effect. We're going to mask out the content we want to reveal, apply the grid transition, and we're gonna put an effect to detect the lines and edges. We're gonna add a little bit of glow, and then we're gonna use a color corrector node to create a cycling color effect. Check out the grid transition video for full details of how I, exactly I created this effect. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna show you the basics of how we can use a dissolve node with a fast noise to create some really interesting transitions. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna start with the Stormtrooper reveal, and I'm gonna answer the question that's probably been keeping you up late at night. Does the magic mask work on Stormtroopers? We're gonna find out today. After that, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use the Dissolve node and some of the options so you can understand how the uh, grid transition is working. So for the Stormtrooper reveal, we have two clips. So I have a clip, um, this is a Stormtrooper um, right next to me, and then we have another clip with this open area, and this is where we're going to reveal the Stormtrooper into the area over here on the right. So to start, we're going to crop this, this clip right here so that it only has the Stormtrooper in it. So we're going to take the left, um, open up the inspector, go to cropping, and slide this over a little bit and we're gonna adjust the softness to kind of blend it in a little bit better. So you see what's going on is we're gonna take uh, this Stormtrooper clip and put it right on top of this clip. And we move it over, you see there's the Stormtrooper. So, so we can turn it on and off. So we just need to do the reveal on the Stormtrooper. So let's go take a look at that. So we have our clip here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the grid transition to this clip. Let's go to the effects, go to video transitions and search for William Justice folder and take the grid transition and drag it right onto this clip. And we'll stretch that out. And you'll see that it kind of goes like that. Let me, uh, I'm going to undo the, uh, show you what's going on. I'm going to undo the cropping. I'm going to take the crop left and pull it back. And let's take a look at this what the transition does. So the transition, the grid transition kind of, so let's uh, stretch this out a bit and take a look at what's going on. Okay, there we go. So it uses these grid blocks to do a transition across and reveal everything. So you can check out my original grid transition video to learn about all the, uh, all the different options. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the grid alpha and bring that down because we don't actually want to see that. Um, you can adjust the block size, and there's really a whole lot of options in there. Let's add the glowing edge. So it's going to detect all of these edges and add a glow to it. So we're going to, you can click on this transition, and you can click in the inspector, this little fusion icon, or you can right-click on the transition and say open in fusion page. Okay, we have the media in 2, which is our main clip, and the media in 1, let's take a look at that, and that's just a, and that's just a transparent background. So we're going to be going from, so we're going to be going from nothing basically to our full clip. So what we're gonna do is we, we wanna detect all these edge points here and add a glow to it. There's quite a few different ways to detect the edges, um, but in this video, I'm gonna use my Just Border effect. So go to the Effects area and you can go to Templates, Edit, Effects, William Justice, and there's Just Border. There's Just Border, or you can hit Templates and search for the Just Border, but we're gonna take it and drag it in here. We're gonna take the output of the grid transition and put it into the Just Border. So let's gonna put that in Viewer 1. So you can see we are, we are, we're already starting to get these lines here. And we can adjust the border, make it a little thicker. Um, there's a lot of different options you can do on that. Let me zoom in here just a bit. Okay, so on the left, this is the just border. And on the right, this is the media out. We're going to take the fill and bring that all the way down so that we're only going to see the border from the just border effect. And we're going to take the output of that and we're going to drag it right on top of here. And it's going to create a merge node. And now we have the border on our main clip. Okay, let's add the glow effect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a soft glow first, and then we're gonna add a color corrector, and then we're just gonna add a glow node. Seems to work pretty well. And you can adjust some of these settings um, to make it as glowy and, and bright as you want. With this thing, we, we have the, so we have the border, the soft glow, the color corrector, and another glow. And we're putting that on top of what we're transitioning to. So to get the color change effect, you can go to the color corrector and you see we adjust the hue here, but nothing is changing. That's because we have a white border. So all we need to do is add a little color to the border. So let's go to the soft glow. So we're at the soft glow, we're gonna click color scale and let's bring up the red and drop the green and the blue. So we kind of got a, a red border there. 
and we'll bump up a glow effect. All right, now with the, now once we have a color there, the color corrector has something to shift. So we can check, take the hue and we can change it, Let's bring down the glow a little bit. It's a little bit strong. Now let's just keyframe the hue. So we're gonna go to the first frame and keyframe the hue. And let's go to the last frame and we'll go ahead and drag that all the way over to one. So it's gonna cycle through all the colors as it's doing the transition. Okay, so that's the glowing border. So let's go take a look at what we have. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, the next step is to isolate the stormtrooper. We can use the, we're gonna try the magic mask to see if it'll isolate the stormtrooper. You can also use regular masking. There's no movement in it, so it's not too difficult to mask around the, uh, the image there. So let's click on the image and go into fusion. All right, let's see if magic mask works. We're gonna, with media N1 selected, hit control space and search for magic mask. And we'll add that. Now all we need to do is draw on our stormtrooper. We're gonna kind of draw around, go in the head, up and down the legs, and we'll go down this other arm here, see what that does. Okay, that's not too bad. It kind of cut it out pretty good. It looks like there's some areas down here that need to be subtracted. Um, so go to subtract over here on the right hand side and we'll kind of subtract this area between his legs and we'll subtract this stuff by his hands. Now that the mask is set, we just need to track it for each of the frames. So hit the track forward and backwards button. Tracking is complete and that's all we need to do in Fusion. Let's go back to the edit page. So let's do the transition. We got our Stormtrooper reveal. Let's uh, drag this out a little bit longer so we can kind of see it, see what's going on. Okay, now if you remember, the, the reveal started on the left-hand side. So we want to adjust that so it works a little bit better. Um, so go to the pattern area. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about how this works. And you'll see that there's a start and an end. The way this works is there's a linear gradient going across that is the reveal pattern. Let's hit this little button right here and choose Fusion Overlay. And you can see this line here. This is actually the gradient pattern. As I move this, this is going to determine where the reveal starts from. So if you want it to go top to bottom, you move the first point up to the top and it's going to reveal, it's going to bring it down during the reveal. Or we can go the other way. Take this point and move it to the bottom and bring this one up and it's going to reveal it from the bottom to the top. So it looks like that's working pretty well and Magic Mask is verified working on Stormtroopers. It's good to know. The last thing you want to do is on this transition, you kind of want to fade out the glow effect so it doesn't just cut off like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the transition. We're going to right click on it and let's go to the last uh, few frames here. We're going to set a keyframe, keyframe. Let's click the merge and we're going to set a keyframe on the blend and go to the end and bring the blend all the way down. So now it'll kind of, the glow effect will fade out like that. All right, now that we have our fade in working, there's a lot of different options. So we can click the uh, transition. We can adjust the number of column. So if we want a little bitty blocks, we can bump this up really big and the grid will be really small. It's kind of hard to see there. A little, it's a little bit too glowy. So you, you can adjust some of those settings. We're going to bring this back down. We'll put it at like 25. We can do the block fade in. The, these blocks will fade in or if we can bring this all the way down and you'll just see the full edges. And there's a roundness. So instead of having boxes and blocks, we can round that off and kind of get a more of a, get more of a uh, curved line look. We can take the contrast and bring that up and detail. And we can, we can kind of go crazy with it. So I'm going to show you what's going on here. Lots of different options. So go ahead and take a look at the original grid transition video to see how all of these different things work. Um, now I'm just going to show you how to use this dissolve and behind the scenes of what's going on with these little lines moving around and these patterns and all this stuff that I'm talking about. I'm going to hopefully make it really simple and easy to understand. So let's start a new fusion composition. Say so Fusion Composition and drag it into the timeline. So we're going to check out how the Dissolve node works and a little bit about the basics of how this effect is set up. So let's get into Fusion. We're going to take a background node. Let's set the color to kind of a dark gray. And we're going to bring that into Media Out. And we're going to take another background node. And we're going to pick a, have this one be colored. So we're going to transition to this color right here. We're going to take the output of Background 2 and merge it onto Background 1. And with this merge one selected, you can see that we can take the blend and bring it all the way down so that the, so the foreground is hidden and we're only seeing the background. So let's uh, take the merge and bring that blend back up. So in this case, we're going to use a dissolve node. So let's select merge one and hit control space and search for dissolve. And we're going to take the output of background two out of this merge and we're going to put it into the dissolve. So now we can kind of do the same thing. We, we can see, we can transition between the foreground and background. So we're going to slide this down and all we see is the background and move it up and we see the foreground. So with the dissolve node, we can use a map to determine when each of the parts of the images are gonna transition. And when you think of map, just think about a black and white image. It's really that simple. Let me show you how this works. We're gonna take the operation here on the dissolve and we're gonna set it to gradient wipe. And once you do that, we're gonna be able to add a map into this little pink input. And the map is 
the black and white image. So let's take this uh, fast noise, drag it in. Let's hit fast noise and go into viewer one. I'm gonna take the output of the fast noise and put it into this little pink input here. And let's see what happens. Different parts of the image are transitioning at different times based on this map. So let's make it. Let's make a few adjustments so you can see exactly what's going on here. I'm gonna click the fast noise. Um, we're gonna go to color. And I'm going to set the color to black. So we're going to bring this alpha up just so it's black and white and not transparent. Just a little bit easier to see. We're going to go to the fast noise and we're going to bump up the contrast. So hit this noise tab and bump up the contrast. And the contrast is the difference between the lights and the darks. So the greater this is, the darker the dark areas are and the brighter the bright areas. When you bring it down, there's more grayscale gray in between shades. So let's bump this up real quick. So we have this really dark area and the really bright area. When we go to the dissolve, on the right-hand side, watch this. So we're all gray, which is the background. And as we start to move over, you notice that the parts are that are black start transitioning first. And as we continue to move this along, the last parts to transition are the white areas right here. So you can see this is bright white, and this is the last part to transition. Fast noise has a lot of different operations that you can do. We can use a gradient to show when each of the parts of this image is going to trans transition. Remember, there's stormtroopers in here, and maybe we want some parts to transition sooner than others. So let's click the color option here. We're going to choose gradient. And for the gradient type, we're going to choose a linear gradient. And here's where we have our handle. So we have this first handle here on the left, which is the start, and this one over here in the end. And we'll bring the, the start at the top. So it's basically making a black and white gradient that's all messed up based on this noise. So if we take the contrast and bring it all the way down, you'll see that we have a just a kind of a solid black, standard kind of black to white gradient. And when we go to our dissolve node, you'll see that the transition's right along. It's a nice, smooth transition. So we'll go back to the fast noise, and let's kind of rough it up a bit. I'm going to bump up our contrast like that, and we can change our scale. Go back to dissolve. Let's go back to dissolve. And it's transitioning right along from the black to the white. Whatever black and white pattern you can create with the fast noise, you can use that to make something really interesting with the dissolve. Um, just real quick, let's go to the fast noise, and we'll do this. This is kind of a fun one. We'll bring our points in here. It's transitioning, because the start and end are real close together, we're getting a solid, kind of a solid line there. What you can do is go down, let's expand the inspector, and let's choose ping pong. It's gonna take this gradient where the points are close together and just keep repeating it. Now when we go to the dissolve, you're gonna get this. Same pattern, falling from the black to the bright white. So hopefully you understand a little bit about what the fast noise is doing to create your pattern and how that pattern relates to the dissolve. We're going to make a circle pattern, and then I'm going to try to put the edge effect on it. Let's go to the fast noise color, and we're going to choose a uh, radial pattern. And we don't really want it to repeat, so I'm going to just turn off looping, and we're going to just have it go once. And then we're going to drag this all the way out like that, and turn down the, the contrast a little bit, and turn down the noise. And let's take a look at our dissolve. It's going to go from the center all the way out to fill it. Okay, so we're gonna go, go to one viewer now, and we're gonna turn this into the pattern. So we wanna get, get the blocks. So we're gonna put a mosaic blur on here. Hit in the open node area, hit control space and search for mosaic blur. And then let's take the output of the dissolve and put it into the mosaic blur. Bump the pickle, pixel frequency down, and there we go, we're starting to get our squares. So for the edge effect to work, we need transparency. Right now, the background doesn't have transparency. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the background and we're gonna copy it. I'm going to paste it down here, and we're going to take this background, the first background, and we're going to set the alpha all the way down. So there we go, we have some transparency. And then we're going to take this whole image right here, let's bring these all the way down, take this, this whole image, and we're going to merge it, merge it right on top of this background and to the media out. So we should have a similar kind of a look now. Um, outside the mosaic blur, we're going to add the border effect. So we'll go to the effects library and choose, go to templates, edit, effects, William Justice and take the border, take the output of the mosaic blur and into the border. And let's take a look what that looks like. And there we go, we have a kind of a white line around it. All right, next we're gonna take the uh, just border and take the fill and bring it all the way down so that we're just seeing the border. Then you'll notice here that it's kind of, it's all over the place. So the reason for this is the dissolve node has a softness. So everything is a little bit blurry like this. So we can take the softness and bring it all the way down and get kind of that hard edge. And now when we look at the mosaic blur, we got a little more hard, harder edge, and then there we go. So that's the look we're going for with the outline. We can take the dissolve and 
Um, there's a lot of options here. You can change the uh, the pixel frequency. This is exactly what the grid transition is using. You can go to the adjust border, bring it up, bring it down. Um, also, the mosaic blur has some other options for hexagon pattern or triangle. So you can use both of those as well. So we'll take the adjust border and we're going to merge it right on top of the other background. And let's go take a look at the output. All right, so now we have our gradient. It has a border on it with a pixelated effect and we're using the dissolve node to control it. And like I said, you can go to the fast noise and bring up more detail, adjust the contrast to make it, uh, the more contrast, a little crazier it's gonna be. You can adjust the scale, um, all sorts of things. And we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're gonna add our glowing edge on it. And we're gonna do that with outside of just border. We're gonna add a soft glow, color corrector, and then a, another glow. And these are a little bright, so we're gonna bring, bring some of this stuff down a little bit. And the same thing with the soft glow, we're gonna take the color scale and we can choose really, it doesn't matter what color, we're just gonna pick something. And that's gonna let us use the, uh, the color corrector to adjust the hue of the glow. Bring the line size down. So really you can play with a lot of these different options here and it's all controllable with the dissolve. So this is basically the same effect that I did for the Stormtroopers, just using the grid transition, which has a lot of different options in it. So if you're interested, uh, download it and try it out and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone's support. Uh, make sure you leave your comments down below. And let me know what you think. If you have any other ideas or questions, I would definitely love to hear from you. And to download the grid transition or any of the other effects, you can go to my website, buildjustice.com. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching.